Did FTX have sufficient risk management systems and controls to appropriately monitor any leverage the business took on and the interconnections it had with businesses like, again, Alameda? There were virtually no internal controls and no separateness whatsoever. So what is, what is the, um, the, the big picture um, balance loss as a result of this bankruptcy? How much, how much has FTX lost as a result of this? We don't have exact numbers, but we know Ballpark. it's several billion dollars, you know, in excess of seven billion. Um, can you provide some indication of whether customer funds from FTX.com were in fact transferred to Alameda Research? Well, it's definitely assets of, of customers in the dot-com silo were transferred to Alameda, no question about it. Uh, uh, we have not seen this at this stage uh, from the U.S. silo. But of course, you know, we, we do have one concern, and that's the concern we're chasing down, which is whether or not there's commingling between the dot-com silo and the U.S. silo exchanges. And, and the reason for that is we know that there was sort of common control and access uh, of authorized users at, at this most senior management level amongst all of the assets. So it's something we have to, we have to focus on. We haven't seen evidence right now of that, uh, but certainly that's something we need to investigate and trace. Are you yet in a position to be able to describe, summarize the assets that Alameda had? We do have, a, you know, an inventory of, uh, of uh, the investments we made uh, that's Pretty clear. We've got those in the hands of uh, our investment bankers at Perella, and we're trying to understand those investments. Uh, ultimately, we'll market those investments. You'll see this week that some of those investments uh, will be uh, will be put up for sale. Uh, the crypto assets a, a little bit different. Uh, what's on the exchanges? We can see there's exchanges about two dozen exchanges across the world where we know we have crypto assets. They're in our name. We're securing those and we're moving those into cold storage. Uh, we have, you know, other uh, positions in cold wallets and hot wallets. We've got visibility to that. The question really is, are there wallets that we don't know about? Certainly that is the potential because the way this company was organized, there may be wallets that don't have our names. We don't know where they are. And that's going to be, a, you know, a difficult task ahead of us. But what we can see and what we have visibility to we're grabbing control over. What are some of the biggest questions you still have for Mr. Bankman Freed and his associates now that you've been through this for some period? I, I think the, the questions we have are not necessarily Mr. question for Mr. Freed, Freed. The questions we have are, you know, where, where are the assets? How, how we locate those assets? Uh, it's a mining exercise at this point. Uh, and uh, look, I, you know, at the end of the day, we're not going to be able to recover all the losses here. Right? Uh, money was spent that we'll never get back. There will be losses on the international side. We're hopeful on the U.S. side. Um, he'll answer to others related to what happened here. Our job is just to you know, find the assets and try to get customers their money back as quickly as possible.